internet friends, welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the internet lifestyle show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Hey, Internet friends, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative, and I'm doing my second or third. It seems like it's third because the second one I had issues with it, but it, this is the second, I think. And his name is Jason, and the last name is Criddle, like Riddle, right? Yeah, yeah. See? Yeah, Criddle <laughs> with a C. I've heard Criddle, I've heard Cridley. When I was in school, some people called me Miss Krabappel, so I've, I've kind of heard it I all. I got that. My last name is Goodum, and they call me Guidium and Goodium and Goodum and... So I just use Magic Brad. Yeah, Done. everybody gets it wrong, right? So what Magic part of Brad and his advertising? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you got to be careful with the Brad advertising yeah. because Mr. Pitt has got that also. So I could leverage that, I guess. Yes. Yeah. I don't think it's <laughs> trademarked, so feel free to use it. Well, hashtags aren't trademarked yet. <laughs> right. You're giving me permission, though, right? Yes, sir. And that's Go not a riddle, it, is it, Criddle? You can tell them I was your legal counsel throughout this entire ordeal. So. <laughs> I love it. Oh, my. You, uh, have, you have your scapegoat. I've always said if you, we should all just put a little thing on the bottom of your birth certificate that says I'm responsible for my own activities. Right, right. So what part of town are you in? Uh, Dallas, man, right in the middle of downtown. Oh, we're in the same uh, time timeline there. So, the same time zone, yes, sir. Yeah, we're the we're, I'm in Minneapolis. This is like the throat shock of the United States, and it goes right down to Dallas, which is the root chakra, I'm assuming. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know yeah, if you're into that chakra yeah. stuff, but so you married, you got kids? See, I got the the shocker tattooed right here on my I'm trying to oh. uh, uh, I got all seven of them tattooed right there on my arm. Oh really? Man. So yeah, I, I know a bit about the chakra. Oh, I'm not cool. married. I have uh, I have a little girl who come here, baby. I'm gonna say hi to Brad. So I have a daughter. She just turned seven on Friday, this last Friday, and I homeschool her and I do everything from. Cool. Um, say hi. Hello say hi there. Brad. Seven years old. You married? Yeah. <laughs> You're not married. What's your name? Emma. Emma with an E M M A, right? Right. See, I read your mind. I'm psychotic. Yeah, yeah he's psychotic, <laughs> huh? All right, go read. <laughs> okay. Yep, it's just uh just just us. So Okay, so what do you do for an occupation? What keeps you busy? What why are we doing this interview? <laughs> uh, I, I spent a lot I spent a lot of time uh creating content. I had, you know, like the path that I'm on started about four years ago. I had my first near life experience, that's what I call it. And uh and I and I woke up this guy. I had a heart surgery, a little complication in the hospital. And uh, I got to leave my body for the first time. Whenever I woke up, I decided to follow through on things. And uh, since then, and I've published 20 of them or so because writing doesn't make me as long as publishing and editing and everything does. And um, started an investment firm. I got quite a few companies and we're doing good things. And we have some, uh, you know, we, we have some successes under our belt. So. I spend most of my time with my daughter, raising her and homeschooling her and having fun and keeping a clear mind. And then, uh, and then I have a great team of people that work for us all over the globe. And, uh, and I kind of just delegate. That's what's so cool about the internet of being able to automate and delegate and get things working for basically 24 hours a day. And it doesn't have to be automation like machines and robots. It can be people that are on the other side of the planet that are wide awake while you're sleeping, right? Right. You know, cool. yeah. I mean, I still, you know, we have an office. It's uh, so outright. On. Oh, I lost your voice. Uh, there's a building over there with the three red stripes and that's where our office is. And we and I, I was working in rich or working from home in Richardson and I moved to downtown Dallas so we could open up an office. And now I still just work from home. Um, I, I'm kind of like the anti office guy, because like you said, um, We've built everything that we have from cell phones and laptops. Like right. this whole idea that everything has to happen between nine to five, Monday through Friday is, is gone. And I totally. think that 
world that we live in is uh, is going through this extreme amount of change to where people realize that they can just be themselves and do whatever they want to do in their lives and they can make money doing it. Yep, we call, we're calling that a lifestyle entrepreneur because the reality is is uh, you no longer need to be, and I say, tethered to an office chair or imprisoned in a cubicle. You can kind of just do your right. thing, like walking down the street. I do Instagram things, and that's helping my get my message out. So it's pretty wild. That's cool. So yeah, man, fun stuff. I don't want to ask my last question yet, but that's my favorite question at the end here. <laughs> You probably have said if you saw some of my other videos, and when this does go out there, if you could like, comment, share, and propagate it out and help support, that'd be wonderful. But could you share a little bit of how to get a hold of you or how to work with you or uh, how can you help other people and that kind of thing, how to find you? Yeah, um, most of my companies, um, you know, we have we have a, a software company, we have a publishing company, we have a lot of things that are out there rolling, but what we really focus on is the major four that I call it, uh, consulting, marketing, investments, and publishing. And if, if somebody, uh, if, if an entrepreneur is trying to do anything to build a brand or reach an audience or anything like that, then those are the, the key things that they need to start doing. Like you, the, the, you know, your show and everything is publishing. It's a, it's it, it, and it encompasses marketing as well. And so those two things that you're doing build value for, yourself to the point to where you start bringing value to the marketplace which is this world that we live in right Got and it. uh yeah. and you know and a lot of people will have really good ideas and they'll say that they want to launch companies or they want to they they chicken scratch something on a piece of paper and then they want a million dollars for that chicken scratch idea but they never take the time to build a business around it and so that's where our consulting and investment side comes in we help people build companies so, I mean, people can check out my website, jasoncriddle.com, uh, but I also, they can also get a hold of me now on the Jason app. So people can just go into iOS or, or Google Play and they can download the Jason app and they can see more about what it is that me and my companies do. They can hire me to come out and work with them, speak with them, whatever they need. Very cool. Yeah, I think that's one of the things that's fascinating about all this stuff is a person is, has the ability to... Um, you don't have to really start a business. You can still earn a living by just, uh, if you've got a, the ability to have a PayPal account and make money, you can just, right. you don't have to have a, a brick and mortar business opportunity, uh, company kind of thing. And I, it's hard for me to explain, but that is the way that it is these days. It's kind of fascinating with the connection of the internet to be able to do that. So here's yeah, my favorite. People can have a, pay go ahead. Go I was going to say, here's my favorite question. That's the big why question is why are you doing this as opposed to why aren't you like uh, being a professional snowboarder or skateboarder or why aren't you doing motocross or why are you doing this? You know, I was, a, I was a professional pool guy for 10 years. And so a what? I started cleaning a uh, pool guy. I started cleaning pools okay. whenever I was like a teenager. <laughs> I was thinking billiards. And it was, oh yeah, billiards, man. I, I, I can play that, but no, I... Um, so I started cleaning pools when I was a teenager and I was like, oh, this is a really cool summer job. And then I was like 25 and I was still doing it, you know. So uh, 10 years of doing this thing that I absolutely hated. And the last five years of it, man, I was smoking cigarettes. I was uh, I was I got up to like 400 pounds. I um, I was I was in the management aspect of it. I had a very, uh, I guess, quote unquote, successful pool company. But I still couldn't stand it because of it took so much work yeah. to run six trucks and to have 12 employees and to have an office and have a yard. And we got involved in real estate, and foreclosed properties. And, it, and the more money that came along, the bigger the nightmare became. And uh, lost, uh, I lost a couple hundred pounds. I became a personal trainer. I helped 500 people lose 9,000 pounds. And I learned a couple of different things wow. from doing that. One is um, anything that you make excuses about is really hard. And it'll be very difficult to complete. Uh, and so I helped a lot of people lose a lot of weight. But being a personal trainer, I was more like a therapist. And, and everybody would talk to me about all of the things that they couldn't accomplish in their life because of a kid, uh, because of marriage, you know, and you focus on relationships, wealth building, you know, faith, beliefs. I mean, you focus on it all. And the, the, 
the thing that all five of them have in common is the person that is right there looking in the mirror that hasn't realized that they are the problem. Yep. And so, you know, regardless of what five you're encompassing, one, two, three, four, five, then then you are typically the reason why uh, one of those five are not working out. Yeah. And so, um, you know, I, I went from training to speaking and I wrote a book. And when I wrote my first book, it really taught me the power of having an asset. And uh, I was offered a book contract and I instead started a publishing company and uh, and really started building assets by way of helping people publish their books. In that time, I discovered that I was good at sales. Sales is nothing but speaking and building relationships. And you and me are quite good at that. And so, uh, you know, here four or five years later, I kind of sit back and I'm like, how did all this happen? You know, it just... <laughs> compounded and compounded like you and uh, the Oracle. And, uh, and it made me, I, I realized a lot of things through this, but my why comes down to, I raised my little girl on my own and I've always wanted to build this empire. And if you are going to do anything worthwhile, you have to be ready to put up with the bullshit that you have to go through in order to get there. And most of the time, whenever people come up against their first roadblock, they quit. Right. And you really have to decide what's important to you. And the beautiful thing about this universe that we live in is everything can be handed to you on a silver platter as long as you become the person that is there to accept that silver platter. Yeah. And uh, yeah. and so that's really what I've I've focused on. If you say that you want something, it could take a month, it could take a year, it could take five years. But what's more important and what God and the universe and source and whatever it is you want to call it, what what it all really is waiting for is for you to become the right person to accept it. And so sure. that's mm -hmm. my why, man. I, I just want to show the world that I am no different. We are no different. We are all. I call us all different cameras looking at the same movie. So you're a camera that was raised in your perspective and sure. your beliefs and your thoughts. And I'm a different camera and Emma is a different camera. And if we realize that we're all watching the same movie uh, and that movie is not at all what's up here, the movie is what's out there in the real, then we can really start controlling uh, our surroundings and we can really start taking advantage of Anything, anything we want. We can do whatever we want. Got we can it. Sit on a couch in downtown Oops. Dallas and get on a radio show and make money in the background while while we're just having fun. It's and pretty, it's pretty cool. I mean, uh, I don't look at this thing as obstacles. It's either go around it or go through it or over it or don't go turn around and go the other way. There's always a way around it, you know. So right, right. Well, I'm going to close this off. I appreciate you taking the time to be with uh, me today on Synergy Cafe. And I'd like to do a, another one sometime, maybe on a different topic. It sounds like you've got some uh, deep spiritual beliefs and uh, health and wellness, too. So, Yeah, man. Anytime. I'm always here, man. Let's get a couple shows out in 2017. We can do that. Um, let's get connected on Facebook. You just go to followmagicbrad.com, and I can get connected on other social media. But I spend a lot of time on Facebook. Cool. Okay. Okay. We'll do that, man. Thank you, sir. Peace. Be okay. well. Bye, buddy.